Hello YouTube! Today we're going to see how to build Brawl decks. I'm going to show you my approach and hopefully you're going to learn something from it. As you might know, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. The link is down in the description below. And uh, if you want to challenge me in Brawl on Historic Brawl, just show up on stream and ask me to play. I would be very happy to play against you guys. Let's jump into the video. What is Brawl? Brawl is a form of commander for standard or historic on arena. You can pick one commander card, then you'd have to build a 60 card deck. You play with 25 light total. It's 1v1 in arena, but it can be multiplayer in real life. The commander is the card that is in a special zone, is a command zone that you can cast it every time. If it dies, it gets exiled, you can cast it again from the commander zone paying two additional mana every time it got put back in the commander zone. All of the cards in your deck need to uh, respect the color identity of the commander. For example, if you play a Jeskai commander, none of the cards in your deck could have green or black in any part of the card. The first step I think is the second hardest step. The last step I think is the hardest one and I will get to that one later. But the first step is to pick your commander. There are many options to pick your commander. You can choose your favorite card, your favorite color combination and have a commander matching that or just some card you are interested in. In order to see what generals we have available, let's go to collection. In here we click on this bars icon and click on commanders and let's click also not collected. In here we can see all of the cards that are available for our commander for each color also this is for historic so you can build historic brawl deck and from this big list of creatures you can pick your favorite one to build the deck around step number two what cards do you want to add to the deck do some research i'm going to show you the tools that i use when building a brawl or historic brawl deck and then while doing the research add the cards to your deck first we need to create the deck let me show you how to do it here we are in the deck tab of arena click the giant plus button from here you need to select the format if you want to play standard brawl select brawl and if you want to play historic brawl click on friendly brawl in this example i'm going to use a friendly brawl let's click on here and then we have to choose our commander. We gonna do for this example Rin and Seri. So we go here, we select Rin and Seri. And then all of the cards you wanna play are going to be shown in this list. Then let's do our research. Before doing the research, uh, we know that a card that is really important for Brawl is Arcane Signet. So just, just add it to the list. The first step of the research I do is do in uh, the Arena client. Since this card cares about dog and cats, we can search for dog in here and we can see all the available dog. We can add some dogs to the list. And then cat. Here we can add some cats. This Ajani creates cats, we can do like that and let's go forward. The first place where I go for research outside of Arena is scryfall.com. I'm going to put the link in the comment below and here you need to know what to search for the query. So here is the query I use. We need to add commander and add the color of your commander. Add ensign and the format historic or uh, F uh, standard for standard. And we perform the search once we complete the search what we want to do is to sort the cards by edh rec rank is not the best for brawl but it gives us what cards are good in general commander and can be really helpful to see what's going on in our format so here we can see we have commander tower cultivate solen simulacrum and etc not many cards that are good with our cats deck. This EDH rack is uh, sorting is probably the best for 
building a deck that is not centered about some mechanics of the commander but general color like a Jeskai control or like a mono red something like that and also if you find any cards that you want you want to add to your deck go back on arena and search the card name and add it to your deck the second resource that i use is edh rec in here you can search the card and see what card synergizes with what let's search for rin and seri inseparable and here edh rec gives you like some options to choose you can view as a commander as a card some like cut tribal whatever you prefer here as commander is chosen so just let's scroll below and we can see the new cards what new cards are good for our set what reprints and high synergy cards and you can scroll through here note that here not all of the cards are in brawl or historic brawl but you can at least look some cards and some suggestions like a lot of these cards on top of new cards and reprints and some of the high synergy cards are still in brawl so that's a good news for us as third resource we have etherup.com just go to deck hub user decks and select brawl here you can see a lot of deck created by users so you can take some inspiration from here as we can see there are like one two three uh, decks with Rin and Seri inseparable you can see how much downloads how much views so let's go to the most popular one and here you can see all of the cards that some user decided to put in their deck you can take inspiration from here maybe you forgot some nice card like the great henge I built Rin and Seri deck today for a historic brawl tournament that I did with friends and I didn't have the great hand, but I had Keeper of Fables, this card was really good. The last resource I want to recommend is to browse Sunnyvale tweets uh, regarding Brawl. I'm going to put the link of this search query in the description down below and here you can see a lot of Brawl decks. Uh, Sunnyvale is probably the most prolific Brawl deck builder so a lot of good resources from him. Hopefully while doing the research you added the cards to your deck. Then you should add a lens corresponding to the colors that you are playing in. And let me show you how to do that. Once you are back to your deck, uh, click the land icon. And here it's gonna show you the basic, just scroll you to, to your right. And here you can see all of the lands that you have available. You can add utility lands. Like for example, Castle Ardenvale. And what I recommend you to do for every two plus color deck is to add the stomping grounds, the shock lands, to add the check lands that it's in Rootburn Crag. And then if you can add uh, the temples for some scrying effect, let's go through the lands. We want command tower always for sure. Also, I skipped over the green, white, and red, white lands, but you're gonna add them. Just gonna show you what lands are important. You want to add a fabled passage and maybe an evolving wild. And be sure that we have at least one basic of each color in your deck. Then here is a cut deck, so we add the animal sanctuary. And you can go forward and like see what other lands would suit your needs. The last step of the deck building is actually the hardest, is to make cuts. Hopefully by adding cards as doing research, you're gonna end up with more than 60 cards in your deck. Then you need to make cuts because you need to go down to 60 cards. You cannot play 61 cards, this is a hard 60 card format. There's no real recipe on how to add cards and how to cut cards but what i recommend is to save a copy of the deck so you can go back if you don't like one cut that you did in the past go through every card in the deck and make a mental list of the must play cards those cards will probably not be cut from your list and then trim the cards that you think are like not necessary or like some duplicate effects maybe 
and hopefully you will get down to 60 cards. Sometimes this process takes a long time, some decks might take you 5 minutes to cut the cards, some decks might take you like an hour or two, so be careful on what cards you decide to cut from the main deck. And here we are with the final deck after making some cuts, this is the deck that I played today in the Brawl tournament that we did with some friends. One thing that is pretty good with uh, tribal decks is Vanquisher Banner and Icon of Ancestry. And also we have Unclaimed Territory, Pillar of Origin that I was one of my last cuts. But yeah, this is the deck and hopefully you get to the 60 cards that you need and you're ready to play some Brawl. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other tips or tricks that I forgot, please put them in the comments. What are your favorite commander to play in Brawl or Historic Brawl? Let me know as well in the comments. Also, as a reminder, I stream on Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch.tv. Link down below. If you want to challenge me for some Brawl or Historic Brawl during my streams, please stop by and just ask for a match. I'd be really happy to play against you guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.